This is Twit. Hour number three of the Tech Guy Show. Just got a new laptop with a different idea behind it. And I I have to report it's a it's a success. You maybe maybe you've heard about the right to repair movement. These days when we get hardware, whether it's a smartphone or even a laptop, there are no user serviceable parts inside. Everything's glued in and uh, very expensive to repair if it's repairable at all. In fact, think about the environmental impact of Apple's earbuds or all of these battery powered earbuds. They, they're so small you can't replace the battery in many cases. You just have to throw them out after a couple of years. And that's, you know, that, that just, that bugs me a little bit. So I've been looking for, and I would love to find one, a phone that we could do this, but I've been looking for devices that are repairable, that are fixable, that are even perhaps upgradable. Remember you used to, you'd buy a computer and you could upgrade the sound card and the video card and sometimes even upgrade the processor. So there's a company, that, a startup, a little startup called Framework at frame.work. They're trying to do this with laptops. And I wanted, to, I just wanted to support them because I honestly think we we need stuff that we can repair, that we can upgrade, so that we don't end up throwing it out after a few years. And I ordered a framework a laptop. They started a thousand bucks. They're they're PCs, uh, but they're configurable and they're repairable. In fact, the one I got, which you know, I kind of maxed it out with a lot of RAM and a lot of hard drive and an i7 Intel processor and all that. It's about $2,000, which is actually about the same as any other laptop would cost. The difference is this laptop, you can open up. In fact, they even send you the screwdriver. Uh, the one I ordered, all of the devices came separately, and which was I kind of wanted it that way. It's the DIY, the do-it-yourself version of this laptop. And uh, so I had to open it up and put this the memory in, put the hard drive in, even put the Wi-Fi card in. But when I opened it up, I discovered inside all of the parts are, are marked with a QR code. They're clearly labeled. They're removable. The speakers, the battery, even the motherboard, they're removable. And you can, a lot of it's stock, like the hard drive and the memory, just a standard, you know, crucial and Western digital stuff. Um, the, the proprietary stuff will end up being the, the motherboard just because of the shape and the battery. And I'm, my hope is this company will do well enough so that down the road I might be able to upgrade, for instance, the processor to a more modern processor. Or if the battery wears out, as they do after a few years, put a new battery in it. Myself, it's not glued in. It's upgradable. Now, I thought I'd be making some sacrifice, uh, you know, with this laptop. Like, well, is it going to be feel a little rattly? <laughs> you know, it's going to feel like it's going to fall. And no, it's great. In fact, I would say it's comparable to my Dell XPS, a premium quality laptop. Runs great. You can get it with Windows. I got it without any operating system so I could put Linux on it. I put uh, my favorite flavor, my current favorite flavor of Linux, Manjaro, on it. Uh, and everything worked out of the box. Everything, the trackpad, the buttons, even the fingerprint reader, all the function keys, they all worked beautifully. I am very, very impressed. Nice screen, great keyboard. Um, so if you're looking for a laptop and you want to kind of support this idea that maybe these things should be repairable and even upgradable, frame.work. Uh, I, I was very impressed. There's a company uh, I, I've, I've known for a long time. They've been sponsors of our uh, podcast, iFixit. They, they take stuff like this and they look at it and they give it a repairability grade. The, the framework laptop got a 10 out of 10 for repairability from iFixit, which I don't I don't think I've ever seen. That's the best you can get. So good job, Framework. They're a U.S. company. I'm sure most of the components are made overseas, but uh, they're a U.S. company. And I'm just very, very pleased that, uh, that they've come up with this. So I just wanted to give them a little plug. I, I bought it. I didn't get a free review unit or anything like that. I'm very impressed.